importance of plants and kinds of plants in the last class so what we have discussed we have discussed about the kinds of plants in the last class that is the uh, importance of plants importance of plants we have discussed about the importance of plants isn't it so plants are the very important part of our, of our life because they are uh, making our life in a very comfortable way. They are giving a fresh air called oxygen. Oxygen is very important for our life. So it is very important for the respiration process. As we inhale the oxygen, that inhaling oxygen is produced by the plants. So they are got the many importance in our life. And we are also discussed about the kinds of plants. Kinds of plants, isn't it? We have discussed also about the kinds of plants. So there are the varieties of plants we have discussed, isn't it? So let us recall the kinds of plants that we have discussed in the last session. Okay, which are the kinds of plants that we have discussed? We have discussed about the, so the kinds of plants are trees. Okay, next shrubs. Okay, next herbs. Okay, and next climbers, climbers and creepers. So this much of these kinds of plants that we have discussed in our last session, trees are very big, okay, and they are having a thick stem, they are having a trunk, trunk means a thick brown color woody stem called trunk, so these are very strong, they live for thousands of years or many years, okay. And shrubs means as compared to the trees, they have the uh, a little stem or it is called, it is not so woody, it is somewhat medium stems is there and they have a bushy nature and the stem, the bases, usually the branches are grow from the uh, base and they have lived for few years, not for many years, few years. And herbs means they have a very weak stem, okay, and they have grown for only one season, okay, it is called herbs. And climbers, climbers, since they have a weak stem, they can't grow for themselves. They always need the support. They always need the support to grow. Example is money plant. Creepers means since they are having a weak stem and the big fruit, they can't grow upright. So that's why they creep on the ground. Example is pumpkin, watermelon. Uh, examples for trees are neem tree, banyan tree, mango tree. Okay, and shrubs means hibiscus plants. Okay, bamboo or the shrubs. Herbs means mint. Okay, mint is the best example for the herbs. And climbers, grapevine, money plant, creepers, watermelon. Okay, and pumpkin are the examples for the creepers. So like this, we have discussed about the many kinds of plants in our last session. In our today's session, let us discuss about our next topic. Okay. So, in the today's session, let us discuss about our next topic that is plants and climate. Plants and climate. So, dear students, we know that varieties of plants are growing around us, isn't it? Okay. So, there are the varieties of plants are growing. So, for growing plants, climate is very important. Okay. We are seeing the varieties. There are the various plants are there. Various kinds of plants. Okay. So, various kinds of plants are available. So, these various plants are not found in all kinds of reasons. Due to the climate. So, the climate. 
or it is also called weather which includes the rainfall temperature soil so these factors influence the growing of plants the how the plants cannot grow in all kind of reasons since the temperature since the temperature soil okay temperature soil weather weather means it is either may be a rainfall so these factors so these factors are very useful and very important for growing the plants so the always the climate is very important for growing the plants it is given in your textbook only plants need the sunlight air water soil to grow so what does the plant need to grow so what does the plants are need to grow plants need okay plants need sunlight plants need sunlight air water to grow to grow okay what does the plants need to grow plants need sunlight air water to grow so these are the very important factors for growing the plants so the plants need sunlight air water to grow so there are the these plants are found everywhere they grow on mountains or in the sea beds in the deserts also and many other places all plants cannot grow in all places they need a, a right kind of soil a climate includes the weather conditions to grow as i said before itself so the plants are growing in varieties of reasons which is including the deserts sea beds okay mountains mountains like this so the plants are growing in varieties of reasons but all the kinds for example the plants which are growing in the mountain regions cannot grow in desert the plants which are growing in desert cannot grow in sea beds okay why means the climate why means climate climate is very important weather conditions which includes the temperature rainfall a kind of soil is very important for growing the plants understood i'll repeat once again so the plants need the water sunlight aid to grow so for growing of plants which is very important so the sunlight namke sunlight big alwa ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ಬೇಕು ಬೆಳಕು ಬೇಕು ನೋಡಿ ಯಾವ್ದಾರು ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ನಿಮ್ ಮನೇಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬೆಳೆಯಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ದ ಏರ್ ಟು ಗ್ರೋ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದ ಜನದ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆನೂ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆಸರ್ಟ್ so they are found in the desert only so such plants can't grow in the in our area because they are adjust to the such a environment okay like that for growing plants their environment their climate their weather conditions is very very important to growing for the crops or plants understood so like this the climate plays a very important role in growing the plants now let us study the one by one point regarding the how much the climate influences the growing the crops how does it involves the influences the our growth of plants how the climate weather yav rithiyagi temperature rainfall sunlight yagi influence madutte plants will mele for growing the crops okay our plants so let us discuss the important points regarding the influence of climate on growing the plants okay children let's see the important points now okay look at that huh? so there are given that some plants like hyacinth lotus duckweed can survive only in water such plants are called aquatic plants
plants are there which can grow only in water. Okay. Such plants are referred as aquatic plants. So, the plants which are which are growing in water are called aquatic plants. Examples here. Yeah. Okay, water aquatic plants. Aquatic plants means the plants which are growing in water. So, the plants which are growing in water are said to be the aquatic plants. Example, Hyachit, Duckweed, Lotus. Okay, Lotus, Duckweed, okay, Hyachit. These are some of the examples for the plants which are growing in the water. Understood? As I told you before, plants can found everywhere which includes the desert, mountains, okay? And marshy regions. So, there are varieties of regions the plant can able to grow. But all the plants cannot grow in all the regions due to their climate. So, what are aquatic plants? Aquatic plants means the plants which are growing in the water. They are called as the aquatic plants. Understood children? So, what are the examples for the aquatic plants? Lotus, duckweed and ayachit. So, these are the examples for the aquatic plants. Okay. So, next let us study about the one more point. Okay. Let's see. Plants like cactus, date palm can live in very short and dry climate with very little rainfall. They are in desert plants. See dear children. So you know that desert having a less rainfall. The rainfall is very rare in kind of desert. Usually Rajasthan. Okay. There the rainfall is very less. Okay. Due to the less rainfall only as some kind of plants are able to grow there. Okay. Due to the presence of less rainfall. So they can resist the plant growth. So what kind of plant can grow in such a regions? Means dead palm, cactus. Okay, cactus, dead palms are the kinds of plants which are growing in the, it is the cactus diagram is given in your textbook. You can observe that. Okay, and there you can observe that there is a less rainfall. Okay, what kind of climate is there in deserts? What kind of climate is it? Dry climate. Okay. So, in desert, dry climate and less rainfall. And less rainfall is there. What kind of plants are growing in this? Date palms. Okay, date palms. Then, cactus. Cactus. Okay, Papa Skali and Takeli Tiralva. So, these kind of plants are growing in the desert region since they have a very, uh, they have very hot and dry climate. Okay, so climate and it is very hot also. It is very hot in the desert. It is very hot and dry climate is there. There is a less rainfall and here yes, what, what kind of plants we can grow? So, date worms and cactus are the plants. They can leave since they are having a less rainfall. They are the desert plants. So if the question is asked, name the desert plants. Desert plants are doing the question kills the answer in Baribiko. Date palms and cactus. Date palms and cactus are the examples for the what? Desert plants. I'll repeat once again. So desert plants. So, in the desert, there is a hot and dry climate is there and less rainfall is there. During this climate, the, there are the types of plants which are growing in desert climates are dead palms and cactus. So, this is about the desert plants. Okay, next. Fear. Willow and spur grow on the mountains and they are very cold condition. Okay. In mountains. Okay. 
Okay. In mountains. So, in mountains means what? It is the very cold conditions. Cold condition. Okay. So, it is a very cold condition is there. So, what kind of plants can go there? Fir, willow and spurs are the grub. Uh, plants which are growing in these kind of reasons, it is very cold climate. Okay. Will, okay. Willow, willow and spurs. What is that? Spur. So, okay. These are the kinds of plants which are growing in the mountain regions. In the mountain regions, it is very cold climate is there. It is very cold and cold. In such regions, a kinds of plants are growing in such a regions are fir, willow, okay, and spurs. Okay. So, these are the kinds of plants which are growing in a such a region. Understood? So, let us see about the next one. The plants like teak and mohagri grow well in places which are remain hot and wet throughout the year. So, there are some kinds of plants which can grow throughout the year. Tea could, they are the tea could. So, I am going to use tea could. It is a very uh, expensive one. Okay. So, such a tea could and mohogari grow well in places which remain hot and wet throughout the year. So, they, the plants the plants which can grow in hot and wet weather throughout the throughout the year. Okay. Example. Example teak and Mohogari. Okay now. Cheek. And moho. Okay. Cheek and mohogani. Mohogani and peaks are the kinds of plants which are growing in where? Where? They are growing in the heart. Both, both heart and as well as the wet condition throughout the year they are able to grow. Okay. So this is about the uh, climate of plants. Okay. So in your test book, so these are questions are given and fact answers is also given. Okay. Banana plant is the largest herb on the earth. So the largest herb is banana plant. And one more information is given that the world surface and lightest wood is balsa. It is used for building the rafts and aircrafts models. Wow. So very good information is given, right? So you have to read this. And Saina wants to know these questions are given in your test book is the page number 27. You have to complete this. Children, go through this video once again and learn the important points that we have learned in the today's session. Okay. So I will recall the points that we have learned in today's session one by one. So in the today's session, we have learned about the, we have recalled about the kinds of plants and we know about the plants and its climate okay plants and this climate we have discussed and we have discussed about the aquatic plants aquatic plants desert plants aquatic plants desert plants okay and we have uh, discussed about the mountain plants mountains plants and lastly, we are discussed about the hot and wet weather plants. Okay. So, this much we have discussed in our today's session. I hope you are understood the today's session very well. In our last session, I will meet up with the one more topic. So, keep on watching the video, dear students. Okay. Watch the video once or twice and unlike the understand the all topics well. Thanks for watching the class, dear children. I will come up with the next class with the one more topic.